they have penetrated <coughs> the opposition in Libya, <coughs> armed them openly, openly gave them arms. And here I like to say in between brackets that during in Lebanon, America keeps attacking Iran for arming Hezbollah. Mm -hmm. huh? How then? Is they are using it well? Uh, but so while they condemn Iran for doing the same thing, they allow that in Libya. And then they succeeded. Uh, oh, so they start the rebellion. Then they say the president is killing his own people. Is going against human rights. Now when you have a when you have armed people in your country, this is what you do. Now Libya was weaker than Syria because Libya was in little isolated. Iran was it was not with Libya. They didn't support sanctions against them. But Iran, because of Shia's because <coughs> Libya ne ek martaba ek imam ko, we think they killed him, he disappeared. Usne ek imam imam sab ko Lebanon se tha. He was the imam of Shia. Or he was taking a lot of money from him. Or there was some issue with him. Uh, Libyans felt that he betrayed them, he didn't spend the money, he ate up the money, we don't know exactly. It's a very long time. Or unko usko invite kiya uska brother, I think, or uska three delegation, three mounted delegation and they disappeared. They never came. Ever since Lebanon, Hezbollah, and Iraq, they didn't have good relations. So Lib Libya was weaker, was more isolated than Syria. And <coughs> the civil society in Libya is not strong. It's a tribal, very tribal society. So it's not yet strong. So they were able to eliminate Gaddafi. Now they came to Syria. Of course, Americans have many incentives to attack. We all know that democracy favor democracy Israel's hegemony 